entertainment displays. The demo also features front-facing, rear-facing, and interior driver assistance cameras, as well as a smart LTE antenna. The phones are controllers for the driver and the passenger. The cockpit is currently set to Jeff's preferences. The car securely detects Jeff's phone and then can configure the cluster, colors and fonts, the seats, the mirrors, the music, the climate control to Jeff's preferences. Jeff, why don't we go ahead and change the cockpit preferences from yours to mine? So you'll notice the system restarted, picked up the new driver settings, and this is possible by the secure integration of the phone's identity with the car's infotainment and CAN system settings. See how the theme in the cluster changed from blue previously to now red. Let's take a look at the quality of the graphics, the display, and the real-time rendering in a navigation use case. Jeff, let's see where the next appointment is at so we can head over there. Navigate to the San Diego Convention Center. So for voice recognition, the 820 ADSP runs our Fluence Pro audio feature suite for local noise reduction and echo cancellation in real time. So any noise captured by the local environment is rejected. And now we have a driver out in downtown San Diego, and Jeff will show you how seamlessly the Adreno 530 GPU renders the graphics working alongside the X12 LTE modem for real-time map and traffic updates. You can see that the navigation is running different views on the infotainment system and on the hybrid cluster. Both are coordinated but provide very different views. The infotainment display provides richer quality of information that can be manipulated using multi-touch at different screen angles. Jeff is now going to show us where we are in Las Vegas in this hotel so you can get a sense of how the navigation looks in 3D. As Steve mentioned, the A20A is integrated with built-in global positioning support, or GNSS, supporting GPS, Galileo, Baidu, and GLONASS, as well as automotive dead reckoning. We'll now focus a little bit on the advanced driver assistance support use cases. At Qualcomm, we've expanded our computer vision and machine learning initiatives to bring Xerox, our machine intelligence platform, to the A20A. Jeff, let's show the audience our ADAS demo. So you'll notice the setup we have up here has some recorded raw video footage, which will be displayed on the monitor in front of the dashboard. The A20A processes the feed by applying both computer vision and machine learning algorithms. You'll notice that on the infotainment system, the A20A tracks lane keeping and lane departure events, which are simultaneously highlighted in color shading, as well as alarm events on the instrument cluster. The A20A is programmed to detect multiple lane marking types. In this demonstration, the algorithms are implemented on the Qualcomm Hexagon Vector Processing DSP, which is ideal for such use cases. Traffic signs are also recognized using deep learning, thereby enhancing the real-time navigation updates with speed limit warnings. Okay, Jeff, now let's switch over to another important safety use case, which is driver distraction. Through the cameras that are mounted near the steering wheel and facing the driver, the Xerox machine intelligence platform can detect the head orientation of the driver, as well as other facial features such as eyes, mouth, etc. If Jeff is the driver and he looks sideways for more than a moment, you will see how the system labels him as distracted. The advanced camera and sensor processing features run in the integrated hexagon DSP which allows for multiple automotive camera sensors to be processed simultaneously. Let's transition over to some entertainment features for passengers. Our rear seat screens are running two HD displays. Jeff, let's show some interaction between the driver infotainment system controlling the rear seat displays. So let's take a look at the rear seat display and you will notice that one of them is showing a navigation display which can be independently controlled but can also replicate what the driver is seeing. So let's play a movie on the other rear seat display. What's cool about this system is that we are managing multiple concurrent capabilities from navigation to ADAS to complex instrument cluster graphics, which all run their own independent audio streams and complex camera machine learning interactions with entertainment functions to the rear seat, all the while being connected to LTE over the cloud 
the download speed of up to 600 megabits per second. In conclusion, the A20A is a connected, smart, and aware automotive processor platform. This is what is possible by bringing together all the key connectivity, compute, and machine intelligence technologies with the Snapdragon A20A. To, to, to take a closer look at our many other automotive demos, please visit our automotive booth in the Qualcomm main exhibit. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everyone.